Tour of Utah is definitely a really, really hard stage. It's probably one of the hardest stages, uh, of stage races in the U.S. Supposedly America's toughest stage race, and uh, I think it's for a multitude of reasons. There's quite a few elements that came into play, the heat, the altitude, the climbs, and the competition. It was a pretty stacked field as well. Just by the unbelievable winning at the Tour de France, winning at the Giro, winning at the Welta, he's running yellow jersey at the um, so the main goal uh, in any cycling race is to look after your top GC rider. Um, that means keeping them out of the wind so they can save as much energy as possible. So, uh, I mean, there's simple things like uh, Connor will go back and get bottles, uh, meaning the GC rider doesn't have to. Um, what else? I mean, you definitely use more energy than, than, than you, would normally, than you would. normally would, but... Yeah, and that's just what you do. A lot of people don't view cycling as a team sport, but in reality, it's probably one of the most team-oriented sports of any sport, especially at this level. Um, you know, the drafting aspect, you know, especially on the flats, drafting is so crucial to save energy. Also, you know, during a stage like stage five, when we're you know out there for five hours, we're going through you know 20 to 30 bottles a rider, and someone's got to go back to the car and get the bottles and bring them back up. So you know that really you know takes a toll if you have to do it yourself. But having a team and have designated riders to you know, have different roles throughout the race, some guys to protect you from the wind, some guys to get bottles, other guys to move you up before the climbs, it's really crucial in the race, and both Joe and I are fortunate to be on Bond Trigger Livestrong and have such a strong and dedicated team to help us out.